What's up guys and girls? So welcome back to another video. Um, something a little bit different today, something I've never done before. Something you see a lot on YouTube, especially with um, with fishermen and anglers, and especially the predator anglers. They like to do unboxing if it's reels and rods and so on and so forth. Um, so I thought I'd give my little uh, my little two pennies worth of um, unboxing today. I've never done an unboxing like I say. Um, let me give you a little rundown as to why I'm doing this unboxing, as you can see from the title. Um, I've always done lure fishing all my life, for, since I started predator fishing, uh, maybe 20 years ago. And I've never really given big lures a proper go. Now I did, when I very first started fishing, I was fishing big Zolt lures, and I was fishing big Rapalas, Bulldogs and stuff like that in Ireland. So I'm no stranger to big lures, but for some reason I just stopped lure fishing for big pike. I just started fishing ultralights and I enjoyed it a lot more for perch and catching small species uh, on very light tackle because I always saw I always saw lure fishing as a fun thing to do and I still do I love going out and having a, a little batch of lures and I don't take it serious at all um, I've never really caught any monsters when lure fishing be it perch, pike, zander, whatever I was fishing for but I always had a really good day I'd always come home and thought I had a really good day catching on lures now, like I say, I've never, I've, I've actually gone over 10 years without catching a lure till last year. And I caught, uh, I caught a little jack of about three or four pounds on, on a little shad, storm shad, perch shad. And um, I had a really good, I had a really good day. And I, I don't know why I stopped fishing for, for pike on lures. I really don't. So you've got loads of other lure anglers out there that I speak to and they're like, they catch lots and lots of fish and they play the numbers game. So eventually they're going to drop onto a double figure or a bigger pike now as you guys know i love my bait fishing that's that's where you know for pike fishing for me that's where it lies in my heart is bait fishing for pike now i don't care if i catch a two pounder a 10 pounder or a 15 pounder whatever i just love bait fishing for pike but like i say i do enjoy lure fishing but for some reason i tailed off from using big lures and i think i was stupid to do that because I think what it's done is it's narrowed down my um, it's narrowed down my opportunity of catching a bigger fish. Now they say that big pike don't chase lures. That's a load of rubbish. You know, um, I've read that in so many books and articles from years and years ago. I'm very much a, a crossover from a modern angler and an old school angler because of my age group. Um, I'm coming up. Well, I'm 39 this week, so I'm, I'm at that age where I've still got my, one foot in the past and one foot in the future. And when I watch all these videos from other bloggers, I've got a lot of uh, friends who, who blog as well. Um, you know, just two as an example, um, Don Fishing UK and Steve Keeler as examples. Um, there are other YouTubers out there and they all catch on big lures. And these guys, they use massive tape. What, what Gull Burton would have said back in the day were table legs. Um, it's, it's crazy, I don't know why I left it out of my arsenal um, but what I have decided to do is bring it back anyway that's enough waffle from me let's just give you a little rundown of uh, my little history with big lures so like I say I still possess big lures I still have bucktail spinners, zolt lures, rapala super shad wraps I've still got all those it's a bit like my vinyl collection I got rid of all my decks when I was DJing but I still kept my vinyl and it's the same with my lures so I've decided Enough's enough, I need to get out there and buy some um, some big lures to start with. Now, I am no novice when it comes to lure fishing, but I am getting back into it, it's big lures, after, like I say, 10, 15 years. So, the first thing I thought is, I watch a lot of lure fishing videos on YouTube, I, I keep my eye on the bowl so I know what works, and I thought, to start with, let's buy some reputable stuff that I know of. Now there's loads of lures out there that are fantastic, but I'm not too familiar with the brands and, and what they're about. Now, I know I'm not affiliated, I will say this before I start unboxing, I'm not affiliated to any of this tackle. This is all bought with my own money. I'm not being given no freebies or anything like that, and I'm not sponsored. But I like the look of Savage Gear equipment, although it is very, 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 very expensive. Uh, the same with Rapala as well, and the Western stuff. Um, all very expensive lures but I suppose you get what you pay for to a degree there are handmade fishermen out there that make as an example Robinson's UK Robinson UK um, you've got Lucky Lures 
they're works of art. If you look at some of those, those, um, those lures are absolutely works of art. And they're the sort of things, if, if I was to buy one of them, I think one of them is about 100, oh, well, the, the, the lucky lures are over $100 or euros. No, 100 euros. Um, so you think how much that would cost, over £100 for a lure. I don't think I'd have the balls to throw that out if I'm being honest with you. Anyway, so let's have a look what I've got. So I've got a reel on its way. So I wanted a heavier rod setup. Now, heavy rod to me is around 100 grams. Anything above that is like super heavy. Now, a lot of these lure anglers are using 150, 200 gram rods nowadays. That's proper chucking out massive lures. For me, I wanted to somewhere in the middle, somewhere that's big enough for me. So a 100, lure, uh, 100 gram lure, I think is more than adequately weighted for, for the size of me. I have problems with my knees, I have problems with my back. I can't stand there casting big lures all day. Um, so I want something that's gonna be very light in the hands, very strong, decent price, so on and so forth. So let's get into it. Here we go. Savage Gear. I bought a Savage Gear Black. This is the uh, the trigger grip. This is 100 grams, as I said. It's eight foot two, okay? Absolutely beautiful. I've just bought this. I've only had it out of the bag once. So remember, this is an unboxing, but this is mainly for the lures. I'm just showing you what rod I bought recently. Um, it's a rod that's probably been out on the market two or three years now, maybe even a little bit longer. I remember when it first came out, actually. Mr. Ant Glasgow Jr., who I think at the time was sponsored by him, was uh, promoting them, and uh, I just fell in love with them. And I don't know why I didn't actually buy them at the time, um, because I did fall in love with them. I've actually got some, uh, well, to be fair, a couple of months later, I bought the drop shot version, and I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So recently I bought this one, and also bought two other spinning rods as well, uh, various different uh, uh, strengths for my purchasing. But this is about pike fishing with heavy lures. So Savage Gear Black. As you can see there, I don't know if the light's capturing that or not. Trigger grip, now, with, with these type of rods, I don't like the abbreviated handle for pike fishing. I want a full duplon or a full cork for pike fishing uh, bait casting reels. I just don't like the abbreviated for the larger rods. That's just my personal preference. So that's another reason why I went for this rod. It's 100 gram, it's super, super lightweight. And I cannot wait to get out there and give it a go. Um, it's absolutely lovely. I love the length of the handle at the top. Um, when you're hauling in, hopefully a big pike. Um, it's just super, it's, it's so well made and it's, I can't believe the lightness of it. I know I haven't got the tip section on, but it's really light. I have put the tip section on uh, to see how it feels, and it's super light. Um, absolutely fantastic. So I've actually bought a reel for this, but I'm actually waiting for it to come in the post again. I doubt I'll do an unboxing for that, because it would have been nice to have done the whole lot together. Um, it's actually a Dawa Pro-Rex 300. Uh, let me get it right. RX 300. So it's the... Uh, the stepped up version I think it is on, on the uh, Pro Rex reel because they do two versions. Um, one for about 150 and then one, the other one's 200 and I've got the 200 one. Uh, I think it'd go nice with this rod. Um, absolutely fantastic. Also it looks quite sexy as well. It's black and purple and it'll go really nice with this black and grey mottled colour. Um, people say to me, oh you, 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 you and your tackle, you, you do like to be a bit of a tackle tart, and you're right, I do, I like things to look nice as well as be functional at the same time, so anyway, that's my rod, 100 gram, uh, 8 foot 2, perfect, I didn't want anything too compact and short as well, because, because of my back, so when I'm sort of pointing down to the water and I'm, I'm jerking it, or just bringing the swim bait back, it'll be perfect length for me as well, on the bank, so, Let's get into the unboxing. Uh, <laughs> I've been wittering for quite a while, so let's open the box up. So, there we go. Just to show you, there is actually an unboxing. Uh, I've actually taken my address off. There we go. Um, Glasgow Angling Centre in Scotland. Um, I used to go to uh, places like Leslie's of Luton, The Friendly Fisherman down in Tunbridge. Obviously, Leslie's of Luton was in Luton, that's now closed down. So, The Friendly Fisherman is my closest. Predator specialist tackle shop. Um, I've not been there for a little while and I do plan on doing a trip down there. Maybe I'll film it as well when I go and buy some more lures. But in the meantime, I wanted to get started. So what, where better than the Glasgow Angling Centre where you can buy so much stuff, especially Predator tackle. So let's, uh, let's open this box up and we will take a look at what I bought. 
Now, like I say, I'm not a complete novice. I'm not a complete newbie. But, it's been a long time since I bought any type of big lure. <laughs> okay, very well. So that's the, the note. So let me show you, it's well, well packaged. Bubble wrap on top, so. As always, I buy stuff from uh, Glasgow Angling Centre quite a lot. So I'm always buying things like, um, you know, batches of trebles and wire chase and all that sort of stuff. So, um, there we go. Oh, wow. I forgot just how much I actually ordered. Now, the reason why, another reason why I went for Glasgow Angling Centre is because they've actually got a deal on at the moment. They've actually got, um, uh, as I believe, like I say, I've got Savage Gear lures in here. I believe that Savage Gear are bringing a lot of new lures out. Um, and they're probably, I would imagine the reason why they're selling a lot of these off. Now, I've looked through the Savage Gear catalogue. And a lot of the, the 2018 lures that are being shown at the moment on, you, on YouTube and Facebook and that, are not actually in the 2018 catalogue. So I'm assuming they're bringing out a lot of new lures. So I can't quite remember which ones were the sale ones and which ones wasn't. But let's go through what I bought. First things first. These are just, they're works of art. They really are. When I started fishing, like I say, 20 years ago, lure fishing, nothing ever looked this good. It's crazy. But then I suppose you get what you pay for. These are really expensive lures. Um, I had to get a perch style type lure. So I got the line through, uh, we got line through trout. I didn't buy that. Uh, the line through perch. There we go. I've got two colours. I'm not sure how many are in the actual range. I think there's three, three colours, but these are the two that appeal. So I've got a fire tiger. Absolutely love that. And I've got a standard perch. Just there. So you've got the standard perch and the fire tiger. Um, 17 centimetre, 63 grams. Don't feel too heavy, but they feel perfect for the type of fishing I want to do. Um, not too big, not too small. I actually quite like that size. And I can't remember the last time I caught a pike on a lure that size, if I'm being honest. Absolutely fantastic. Actually, the last the last jerkbait type lure that I caught on was the Fox Micro jerkbaits, which I actually still have. Um, next one, Real Wheel. I saw this actually quite a few times, and I remember this when this came out. This is the, uh, the standard color. This is the, uh, the the black green pearl. The reason why I bought this black green pearl one is because it looks so natural. It's incredible. When you actually see this swimming in the water, it looks like a real eel. Now one day call it real eel, I know. You've got to forgive my excitement because, like I say, I'm not into big lures. And when you buy these and you look at them, you think, oh my God, look at the super detail in them. I think I'm going to be gutted if I lose one of these. I ain't going to lie to you. But just from the perch and the eel, wow, I've never seen one close up like this. That is amazing. It's almost like you could just put two trebles in it and cast it out. <laughs> but that's the real wheel. So that one, yeah, that's 30 centimetres. So perfect for maybe like a, an, eight, an eight ounce or a 10 ounce eel, like a real wheel. That's perfect. They say that um, actually one of the pike's best bait to use for dead bait for pike or, or bait fishing for pike is actually an eel. They love the taste of eels. So that's going to be super interesting to try that. Uh, what else have I got here? Now I might double back on some of these. So I'm going to go through them one at a time. Uh, this one is called the 3D Roach Lipster. And this is a, a coir pattern. Lipster. Looks awesome. It's got a little lip at the front. I'm assuming it's a little shallow diver. Yeah, slow floating roller. So I'm showing it rolls in the water. I have seen all these on, on YouTube because I belong to the uh, Savage Gear as well as the Western and Rapala, loads of other YouTube channels. I, I watch those quite regularly. But obviously off the top of my head, I can't remember some of these. But look at the coir pattern on that. Look at that. It's just, that's awesome. The reason why I went for the coir pattern on this, sh this shallow uh, style lure is because obviously when I, well I say obviously, when I fish my local pond, someone's dumped a load of coir carp in now. Um, which is naughty, they shouldn't have done it. But I see a lot of coir carp swimming around in the margins and uh, on the surface. You can spot them a mile off. And, you know, that's my way of thinking. 
you know these would be ideal just under the surface maybe like in the warmer months like spring and, and autumn right like now we're in september so that would probably be really good to try over my local uh my local ponds so that again it's the coir one i might give that a go actually sometime maybe this week uh western now these are mike the pikes there's all different sizes in all these lures by the way i wanted to get sub 100 pound obviously because of my rod 100 pound 100 grams because of my rod this is 70 grams there's actually a bigger version and a smaller version there we go mike the pike absolutely beautiful isn't it i almost don't want to fish with it i could just hang these up as, as like decorations anybody who knows i like that kind of thing as you can see percy on the windowsill so yeah this one is a uh, slow sinking 70 gram 20 centimeters can't wait to try that i've actually got some more of these in here i'm not sure if i've got a bigger version actually i may have uh well this is what we've got here another 3d glider uh sorry the other one was a lip star this is the glider so i'm assuming this one actually let's have a look slow sinking glider so i'm assuming it's very similar to the lip star um i'm not sure about this you know it's got a similar rate of sinking that's what it says on now this is the uh i think this is the rod it's just the rod pattern I think this is the rub pattern actually. Just seeing where it would say it. Oh no, Roach Glider. I think this is the rub pattern because of the, the goldness in it. It's absolutely lovely. Anyone who knows me knows, especially for perch, I like using rub pattern. Oh yeah, so we've got the rub version. So you've got the lipster and then you've got the um, the glider, both in rub pattern. So looking forward to using those. What's this one here? So these are, some of these are hard. They're all hard. I was expecting them to be soft. Some of them are soft and some of them are hard. The towel's soft. So this one here is a what's this one? A bleak swim bait. So I wanted swim bait type baits. All these you can see at the moment are very similar. They're all swim baits. So that's a bleak glider. Um, that one's 49 grams. Again in rud pattern. You can see I'm gonna have a lot of rud patterns lures in here. I've actually got a another one this is a swim bait 3d four play swim and jerk and that's in rud that's quite a big one that's 65 grams beautiful in it look at the sheen on it especially in clear water see my mind i like I, a lot of the venues i fish is, is fairly clear water um and i think the rud would be really nice there's a goldfish version of that um what's this one that's that brooch uh, glider so i've got a goldfish pattern one uh, i've got a little western ricky the roach little tiny ricky the roach well, i say tiny it's 36 grams so <laughs> that'd be interesting to use it's a nice size one that one ricky the roach it's really pretty half of the body's squishy and the head is hard i know there's a lot of lure anglers out there at the moment are watching this probably laughing their ass off thinking what the hell baz come on man these are just lures you know and they all know their lures um mike the pike i've got another two so you've seen one already i've got another two different patterns we've got a fire tiger pattern uh i think these are 70 grams yeah they're 70 69 69 68 67 70 gram ish mike the pike one's a bolted pike the bottom one the top one's uh is um, a fire tiger i think that fire tiger will work lovely at the thames especially where it can be a bit colored sometimes I almost don't want to fish with them. I really don't want to fish with them. I think these are not the biggest neither. I think you can actually get bigger size. Um, another lipster. That's the roach pattern one. You've seen the rud. That's the roach pattern version. Again, what's this one? 67 grams. All roughly around this sort of 60 ish gram mark, isn't they? Uh, slider. So I've got a rud in slider and lipster, and I've got the roach in the same. I should have really got them all out together and obviously it's an unboxing so i don't know what's going to come out of the box before the next one uh oh i think i've already i've bought two of these i think so that's the rud oh no i haven't no this is the version two lip lure so i've got a version one i've got a version two of this so that's what i was saying i think the version one was the sour item i've got quite a few sour items because i've got quite a bit of a discount as you buy three of them you get the fourth one free or something so yeah that's the uh well that's at the moment 
don't quote me on that. Go and have a look. I don't know what's left because there was a lot I wanted to order they didn't have. So go and check on the Glasgow Angling Centre site. Um, and that's a rud version. Again, a swim bait, hard bait. Very horographic and it just, just looks awesome. Just look like they're going to catch loads and loads of fish. Um, what else have we got here? Oh, might as well show you these two together. These are the pike pattern. Bleak. I think these are the bleak. Bleak lures. Yeah, bleak glides. Got two different sizes there. Um, the bottom one is 49 grams. The top one is 85. So, again, sub 100 grams. Big one looks awesome. The little one, I see, like, there's something about little lures I like. I like big lures, don't get me wrong. But there's something awesome about seeing small lures. Um, well, to me, that's actually a big lure. I know that's the big, big one. But to me, that's a big lure because I'm just not used to using these size lures. That's absolute. The detail on these are incredible. I can imagine handmade ones having even more detail. Like the, the Lucky Lures and the Robinson Lures that I mentioned earlier. The detail on them, super, super awesome because they're handmade. So a lot of time spent on them. With these, these are uh, factory produced for the mass market. But they're so sexy. I, I don't even want to open them up out of their boxes and fish with them. And then the last one, uh, which is Percy the Perch. The one I wanted more than anything. Now you saw the line through perch and savage gear, but this is the um, the western. This is Percy the perch, the western. Now I've seen some really good reviews on this. One of the uh, I am going to mention him. His name's uh, DB Fishing. Um, he does a lot of reviews on his YouTube channel about lures and stuff. So naturally, I've watched. Well, I watch his videos anyway, but naturally, I watch his 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 uh, opinions on what what he thought and see how he was catching fish. And he caught a few fish on his uh, inspection of using this lure. But there's something about this uh, this particular lure that's so sexy. I, again, I don't even want to don't even want to fish with it. The top half is hard, and the bottom half is soft. I think you can actually change that and buy separate bodies. They come in. I think this is the um, the bling perch. Although it looks natural to me, there is actually a natural version. Uh, believe it or not, I think this one's a little bit brighter. Uh, this one is a bob on the hundred pounds. Dead on a hundred. A hundred pounds? I keep saying hundred pounds. Hundred grams. So that is dead on a hundred grams. There's two hooks in there. Uh, the bottom hook is, a, I think there's a stinger in there. So I can't wait to try all these lures. I'll be honest with you. There are lures I'm going to try over the others. I, I think the Western have worked out a little bit dearer, the Western lures, than, than the, uh, the Savage Gear ones. And I'm very, very reluctant to use these, but... You know, that's what they're there for. I think if I lose one of these, I'll be, I'll be crying. But um, what I'm going to do is, I have gone mental. I have gone mad and bought all these lures. So what I'm going to do now, from now on, is just increase it. I mean, that lure selection there will last me for, you know, <laughs> for a couple of years, hopefully. But I will hopefully uh, add to these bit by bit. And like I say, I do have Zolt lures, Rapala Super Shab wraps. I've got big bucktail spinners I've got old fox um, spinner baits which are like 70 80 grams and they're huge they're like uh, they're like when you put up a Christmas decorations they're huge big spinner baits so I've got loads of big stuff still in my armory to use other than what I bought today but the reason why I went for these swimmer baits is because they're I think they're very simple they just cast out and bring back I mean you can jerk them and they'll shoot and dart and stop and I think some of those gliders actually when I was watching on the video as they go forward and you stop them they, they sort of dart turn around look over their shoulder so it's going to be really I'm really excited to try these lures and um, hopefully it'll bump up my PB maybe but it'll bump up my catch rate so and it's easy to take lure fishing uh, rather than take all your bait fishing so equipment that is uh, last thing I bought is uh, just a plier, Savage Gear plier for uh, cutting wire and Now uh, I do crimping. have obviously cutting stuff and my bait fishing and stuff and I use that for making my lures but I wanted something I could just keep in my lure bag and um, I haven't bought any trace equipment yet the only trace equipment I have is for, for small lures like for, for you know tiny stuff, crankbaits and spinners and stuff so I really want to buy some heavy duty wire um, to take 
the weight of these lures and obviously to last longer for the pike but yeah quite quite interested to see how these uh these lures get on so that's it that's the unboxing done sorry if i bored you to death uh, <laughs> and here goes the cameras uh, sorry the lights on the camera okay sorry about that i was uh, in the middle of filming and all the lights fell down <laughs> all the lights fell down which is actually illuminating me at the moment um, so yeah as you saw the unboxing I really enjoyed uh, looking through those can't wait to really give them uh, a proper go on the, on the rivers and lakes that I fish um, take them out of the packaging and have a good look at them I'll be honest with you some of them I'll probably refrain from using if I can um, especially the line through perch and Mike the pikes I just think they're so sexy and they're quite expensive so um, like I say I probably won't fish for those just yet um, if you enjoyed this unboxing, it's my first, I've never done it before and I do like to waffle, I do uh, apologise. Um, then give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, I'm sure some of you are let me know about these lures and how good they are and how they work and, um, and how I'm an idiot for spending so much money on loads of lures. Um, <laughs> or I bought the wrong choice or some of them are good and some of them are rubbish, I'm sure you guys are going to let me know. Um, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification. If you hit that bell, anytime I upload a video, it'll go straight to you as a notification. You'll you'll know straight away. Make sure you hook up on my Facebook page. The reason why I say that is on my Facebook page, I'm always updating on now, trying to give you guys a heads up of what I'm doing. Not just uh, fishing with lures that I'm going to be doing in this video as an example, but you know, my old float making, as you can see here, I'm in the middle of making floats. I've got loads of videos on their way. Um, I was refrained from pike fishing last year because I was in hospital. I am due to go in hospital next year, but I do plan on really, 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 really giving it a hard go as much as I possibly can this winter. So I will be out on the baits and now the lures too. Like I say, go on that Facebook page, hit that, that like button and uh, I really do appreciate it. It's actually it's starting to pick up quite a lot on the Facebook page as well as the YouTube channel. I'm starting to... Uh, starting to get a lot of love out there so I really want to say thank you for you guys for uh, showing the support uh, I am a small channel I'm not I'm no professional I use basic cameras you know I'm no expert at what I'm doing I just you know I love what I do and I try to bring the enthusiasm and um, when I can't go fishing I try to like I say make floats and do other bits and pieces so anyway I'm starting to waffle again Look out for future videos of me lure fishing and um, all I can say is tight line and dead baits and I'll catch you all soon on a new video. Take care guys.